Next, we'll move on to carburetors. Now, this is another situation where we could go, hey, you know, that guy with that 387 Mopar with the double overhead hemi cams on his transmission would really be hip if we described exactly how it was that a Holley four barrel quadrajet harbor gator carburetor bracket under the island submarine worked. But we're not, we're just going to keep it simple because we know most of you're stoned and we don't want you to go, ah! Carburetor mixes fuel and air and turns it into a combustible vapor mixture. This is how it works. Hey, how the hell does that thing work? I'm glad you asked. Let me tell you how the hell that thing works. This cooling tower for a nuclear reactor? No, that's a carburetor. This would be the core of the reactor? No! This is the manifold. This is where the gas vapor is going to go to go into a cylinder and then blow up and, you know, poof, drive the piston, go down through the transmission, back through some gears, back through the drive shaft, in through the axle, and turn the wheels. We're not going to get into all that horse stuff or anything. First thing you got to know about is a vacuum is created down here by the intake of the engine. This vacuum is drawing air into here. The air comes in at, oh, say, four air units. I like that. Yeah, four air units per minute come in this top thing. It's still four air units per minute. Coming down here, this thing gets narrower. And the air is in there going, hey, hey, what's going on? Not really. It doesn't. It doesn't get hot. Yeah, I mean, it does get hot because it gets denser. But it does. Would it go up? No, it's sucked down in by the back. And don't worry about that, because I know how the hell this works. The air comes in here, four air units per minute, and it's coming in, and it gets to this narrow spot, and it's, it has to move faster to get those four air units through per minute. So there's a little higher pressure there. And then there's a little tube that comes out here, goes down in there into a puddle of gasoline. It's been pumped up from, here's a gas tank, and the wheels are over here, okay, and the steering wheel's up here. But you don't need to know about all that horse stuff. So the gasoline comes up into this little reservoir. And as this air is moving through here, there's a little choke thing up here, but that's not really important. You know, it tells you how much air is going to go in. Then you got this thing down here, which can flop either up and down or across. And that tells you how much gas and air mixture is going to get through there. <laughs> I love it when it moves. So the air is coming through for air units per minute. And uh, it's, it's going faster. And what happens, it's like one of those things you spray, you know, you put bug spray in a little jar and it, it's like that. It, the air comes blowing across this little thing inside the venturi, the narrow area, it's called the venturi. It comes blowing across there at this massive speed. And what it does is it creates a vacuum right here at the end of this little jet. And it just sucks gasoline right out of there. And it comes out this tiny little hole, like, like nose spray in a mist. And it's mixed with the air. And this thing is opened up, you know, goes down into your engine. And that's when it goes, vroom, vroom. That's how a carburetor works. Oh, look, we're out of topics. Guess we got to go. Say goodbye, Dave. Goodbye. This is Ed Baker from How the Hell Does That Thing Work with Ed Baker. Goodbye, Dave. And let's go. <laughs> hey, Dave, you think they bought that horse? Shh. Hi. Just leave him. How the hell do they get these shoes so shiny?